A brutal king hit on a bus driver has sparked calls for security to man all bus interchanges. A delay in the emergency response also has the union questioning the safety of its drivers. Left bloodied and shaken, 59-year-old Jerry was knocked unconscious by a single blow to the head. But incredibly, our cameras arrived at the Paradise Interchange before emergency services. The indications that I've had is it took 38 minutes for the uh, police to respond to this incident. It's not good enough. The union says yesterday afternoon's attack was unprovoked and drivers are feeling more vulnerable than ever. Drivers are getting more and more frightened out there because they just don't know who's going to you know, jump on and, and, and assault them. And it's just wrong. Regular commuters agree with the Transport Workers Union that all bus interchanges should be constantly manned by security guards. I think that's a great idea, especially um, during the night times. It just gives people a feeling that they're safe, I guess, and deters someone from actually committing a crime. If people understand that they're going to have actually inspectors get on and check tickets and everything else, your crime rate goes down to half. Transfield Services temporarily hires security guards but can't sustain the safety measure. We call on the state government and all the stakeholders that uh, they should be taking this very serious. The injured driver is expected to return to work tomorrow. Jack Paquetta, Nine News.